This is the standard vinaigrette. Instead of having the egg yolks be the emulsifier as we do for mayonnaise or the softball eggs, here we have mustard. Mustard, vinegar, sugar together, add the oil. That is your standard vinaigrette. And the variations are unlimited. You pretty much want, I think, roughly speaking, equal quantities of, of mustard and vinegar and sugar. Um, so that the sugar and the vinegar gives this sweet and sour flavor. It takes it to stops it from being too, too sharp. Sugar is a great flavor uh, enhancer and lifter. Mustard gives it some backbone and some, and some body. Mustard sugar together. Salt, all the seasonings want to go in at the beginning, an estimation of all the seasonings. So they dissolve into the vinegar, which then gets emulsified into the oil. You add the salt at the end, it won't dissolve as well. Mustard, sugar, salt, pepper. Those are the four key seasonings. I always think how many people I'm trying to serve when I make a dressing. So if you're making a dressing that's going to do 30 salads, you want to put 30 twists of a pepper mill in there because that's kind of the right quantity of pepper per person. Vinegar. The oil is always the, the, the majority, that's, that's, the, that's the one rule of thumb, but whether it should be a third or ten times or whatever, very much depends on the other ingredients that you've got in there. If you've got a fantastic, expensive ice wine vinegar or even a balsamic vinegar or a great sherry vinegar, those flavours want to be enjoyed, so you would add less oil. So it's very difficult to say that there's a, there's, there's, there's a basic rule of thumb. And there is your basic dressing. Thick, emulsified, classic vinaigrette. There's then myriad of ingredients that you can add to vinaigrettes. A little bit of garlic is fantastic. Herbs is delicious. Delicious. Any of the usual kind of seasoning, highly flavoured agents are fantastic, whether it's a little bit of minced olive, whether it's a bit of anchovy, whether it's a little teaspoon of harissa. Any of those highly flavoured seasonings that used elsewhere in foods are fantastic if they're incorporated into a basic vinaigrette. We have here, right at the other end of the spectrum, a complex dressing. But again, it's ultimately it's relatively simple in its process. It's in the book. This is a sardine vinaigrette, where it's, it's thick, it's rich. But there is a combination, you can see in there, of, of oil and, and solids. And there's tomatoes and vinegar and garlic and peppers all creating the background zing and flavor and sardines and anchovies. Fantastic, immensely flavorful dressing. As long as it's kept at room temperature, it's something that can be kept for a long time. You know, it is, there's, there's nothing that's going to go off in a vinaigrette. It is, a, it is what it is. It is a collection of ingredients that have got, a, you know, a, not an infinite shelf life, but certainly they can sit for a while. So there's no, there's no issue with the vinaigrette. As long as it stays, at an ambient temperature. As soon as anything gets hot, and particularly vinegar, it starts to, you know, it, it starts to, it, it just increases that sort of process of things becoming stale and muted. And, um, but a vinaigrette is a pretty indestructible thing. Thank you.